Okay, here I have a uh, 2003 Ford Taurus. It's the uh, the high output, the uh, 24 um, 24 valve engine. Problem I have with this one here is that uh, I'll, I'll give you a shot. Cranks, but it don't start. All right, cranks, but don't start. After checking, I find out that it has no spark. Um, and this is something that's really crazy. I've never seen this before, but um, I just want to enlighten a couple of people on, uh, on what's going on with this one here. Uh, it has no spark. First thing you, you assume is that it's not the, uh, the uh, crankshaft sensor is not showing rotation of the engine and therefore is not allowing the, uh, the engine to, uh, to fire up. After putting it on a computer, I scan it and it comes up with the, uh, the engine is showing that it's, uh, it's spinning. So let me just show you what we got. The engine is showing RPMs. You can see the engine is spinning, so we know the crankshaft sensor is picking up uh, the signal from the uh, from the uh, the sensor. Um, now, I I did what they call the wiggle test on here. You you guys know about this. You go around, you wiggle the wires, and try to you know find any wires that are broken or whatever. Um, and then the car would start up, and it would run perfectly. And then after a, a minute or two, you drop it into uh, into gear, and And it'll start up, and, and uh, you'll drop it into gear, and it dies right out, and then it won't start again. Okay, so, uh, you know, we have the, the, the RPMs is spinning, and this is what, what I find really kind of strange. Um, and maybe somebody has run into this before. I have not. Um, we have, um, we show the RPMs. We see the engine is spinning. The only thing I saw, which was a little bit out of the ordinary, was this. Engine coolant temperature is showing 14 degrees, and the voltage on the on the sensor is uh, 4.18 volts. That is, is obviously very low. Today is a is a nice day. It's probably about 70 degrees outside, so we should be reading at least the outside uh, um, temperature. And I've never run into this before that a coolant sensor can keep a vehicle from from running. But you're not going to believe this. Let me show you what I did. All right, now we're underneath the hood, and uh, the coolant temperature sensor is down right up in the side over here. And obviously, you don't want to be doing this when the engine is running because you have a fan belt right here. It'll definitely uh, cause you a problem with your hands. So uh, let me just uh, grab that new sensor. I'm going to take that out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is the, uh, the old sensor that I took out of there, and basically what you do is this sensor sits. I'll show you what the new one is, too. That's the new sensor right down in here. And basically what you do is the sensor sits in there like that. You rotate it this way and you pull it straight out. So um, plug the sensor on and uh, we're going to see how everything, uh, everything works. Okay, one thing I, uh, I see already is that the, uh, the engine temperature is reading 192 and the, and the, uh, the, the voltage is down to 0 0.65. So let's see how it... Uh... All right, let's see what happens. And anybody who can enlighten me on this thing here, I'm a little bit confused how a uh, engine temperature sensor can keep the engine from running. You know, after I'm thinking about it, it's possible maybe it uh, disables the computer to keep the engine from uh, from overheating and uh, and causing a problem. But 
I'm not really too sure exactly why, so we're just going to let it run a little bit, and we're going to make sure everything is uh, is okay. Let me just get the computer back on. We'll uh, we'll see what's happening inside there. Get back into it. Right, the RPMs look okay. The uh, the uh, DTC or the or the, uh, the codes are in the computer, obviously, or because I had the uh, the coolant temperature dis the coolant temperature sensor disconnected before. But the temperature sensor now is in the normal range, 192, and the voltage is correct. So uh, not sure exactly why, but I just figured you guys might want to see if you've uh, run into this problem before. Drop me a line. Let me know. Uh, it's kind of strange. I've never seen it before where a, uh, a bad uh, temperature sensor would cause the car not to run. Um, drop me a line. Let me know if anybody else has run into this before. And uh, thanks for watching. And I hope that um, maybe this helps somebody else out because this drove me crazy trying to figure out what this was. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one. All right. This is the old sensor. I got the car running now, so sorry about the noise. It's just hard for me to believe that this sensor would cause the car not to run uh, and, and not, to, not to, 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 uh, to, to idle or anything, not even to crank over. And, and the way it started is that the vehicle would start up and it would run and you drop it into drive and it would die out. You crank it over, try to crank it, you have no spark, um, but you, you sense rotation. It's just hard to believe that, a, that a, a coolant sensor can cause this to happen with an engine. You know, there's a saying they have that you could be as old as a cow and you, uh, and you, you learn things new every day. This is a new one to me. So, um, obviously, it's it, that definitely with the problem. Is that I've had this thing running for a good half hour now. Shut it off, start it up, drop it in gear, drive it around, and it seems to be okay. So, uh, all right, anybody else runs into this problem, keep in mind that that's the sensor right down in there. Uh, check it out and... Uh, if you have a scanner and you can see what the actual engine temperature is, check the temperature and see. Um, strange to me, but um, if it's happened to anybody else, let me know. I'd be curious to, uh, to hear if anybody else had uh, a similar issues. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.